In this video, we're going to look at a balanced equation, for example, hydrogen and uh, iodine combining to form hydrogen iodide. And we are going to be given limited data on this. We're told that we have to start the reaction with two atmospheres of hydrogen and one atmosphere of iodine, and the equilibrium constant is given. So we're going to set up a table, and that's why I've written the equation down here. And we're going to start with our initial conditions. And keep in mind that if we start out with only reactants, as we do in this case, the reaction has to proceed in the forward fashion. So our table will have our initial conditions, and then the change is what we're going to call x. We'll end up solving for x, and then we'll uh, end up with our equilibrium values down here. Those are the values that we'll plug into the equilibrium expression. So if I start out with two atmospheres of hydrogen, my initial condition, I put two here, and then one atmosphere of iodine, and it didn't say anything about the products, but we're assuming there are no products that we're starting with. So the change, if we lose an amount x, we have one mole of hydrogen, so if I lose one mole of, or if I lose uh, one x here, I'm going to lose the same amount here. And that's because in the balanced equation, one hydrogen reacts with one iodine. And then I'm going to make products. So this is going to be adding 2x. So it's best if the change that we call x is the change in something that there's only one of. And that way we don't end up with any fractions. The math will still work out the same. So at equilibrium, whatever this change is, which we'll be solving for, our hydrogen is going to be 2.0 minus x. Iodine will be 1 minus x. And our Hi is going to be 2x. So these are the values that we're going to plug into the equilibrium expression. And we have to be given the equilibrium constant in order to do this. So k is going to equal Hi and I'm using concentration values. I shouldn't be using pressures, but I'm using the symbols for concentration, but that's all right. And this is all over H2 and I2. So if I plug this in and with what we've got given at equilibrium, HI is 2x. So that concentration still has to be squared because that 2 moles shows up here, and then we're going to divide that by 2 minus x and 1 minus x. I'm going to leave off these decimals of 0. So now this is going to end up turning into a quadratic equation. So I just have to do FOIL here. Uh, I think I'll do that, try to do that in one step. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by this denominator, 10 times, so will be 2 minus x minus 2x will be minus a 3x plus x squared. That's all equal to 2x quantity squared is 4x squared. And if I distribute this, 20 minus 30x plus 10x squared is equal to 4x squared. And in order to solve this, there's a variety of ways of doing that. But I'm going to get this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and set that equal to 0. And then that means I am going to be uh, solving a quadratic. And then y is 0. We get two roots for x. You could do this by graphing, or I'm going to use the quadratic formula that's plugged into my calculator. So I'm going to subtract a 4x squared from both sides. And I'll end up with, I'm going to rewrite this in the order that I like, 6x squared minus 30x plus 20 equals 0. And we could factor out uh, 2 out of here, 
but there's really no need to do that. So we can solve this by hand. We can solve this by graphing. Or we can solve this by plugging it into the quadratic formula. So I'm going to let my calculator come up with those two weeks. So I'll program that value in, that formula in. And calculator. So, so I've programmed that in. I'll just go to that program in the quadratic Q and it asks me for A. A is 6, B is negative 30, C is 20. And when I do that, I'm going to get two values for that. So I get x equals 4.21 and x equals 0.792. There's only one value that's physically possible. So we have to test for uh, basically just to see if, if it's possible. If we go back to our original uh, definition of x, which was the change. 2 minus x is the criteria for testing, or 1 minus x. So if I look at those conditions, this value doesn't make sense because I can't lose more reactant than I've got. We only started out with two atmospheres, so it's going to be impossible to lose four atmospheres. So the only root that makes sense is that. And we're still not done. We've solved for x, and now we're going to plug x back into these equilibrium values. So at equilibrium, we have that H2 is 2.00 minus 0.79. I2 was 1.00 minus 79. And hi is equal to 2 times 0.79. So the value for x, I just went ahead and used two significant figures, two decimal places there. So the x value that makes physical sense is what we plug back into each one of these equilibrium expressions that we obtained from our initial conditions, and then just do that now. 18, 1.58 atmospheres. I better do that on the calculator. 0.79 times 2 is 1.58. 2 minus 0.79. So this value would be 1.21 atmospheres. And this value would be 0.21 atmospheres. So from a limited in a limited amount of data, we do solve for x, which is our unknown. And then once we have the reasonable value for x that makes physical sense, then we plug that value x back into these equilibrium expressions that we came up with. And our final answer to have our three equilibrium values make sense. You should be able to plug these back in and check for this. It's always the case for algebra. If we plug those, these values back into this equilibrium expression, then we should get 10 as our answer. So we could do that. 1.58 squared. That was our h i and divide that by 1.21 and 0.21. And again, those are just the equilibrium values that we obtained. If we do the math here, we should get very close to 10. And that way we can make sure that we did the problem correctly. If I take 1.58 and square it, 
and then divide by 1.21 and divide by 0.21, two denominators, I get 9.8, which is close enough. So we rounded these values, so that means that the answer checks out.